with my brand new GTT with compressed air, I wanted to pick up uh, all the components and just kind of give everyone a good idea of how simple it was to put all this together. I bought a $200 Hitachi from Lowe's and talked to GTT. They do sell a permanent line dryer, but I've been testing the temporary line dryer that GTT sells for $20. And I thought, well heck, let's see how long this temporary line dryer lasts. So. Altogether, I've probably got close to 300 hours on this $20 temporary line dryer. This is a $60 inline regulator. So the tank has regulated pressure, and then this is a secondary reg. So the consistency of the pressure is very good. And then the temporary line dryer, after many, many hours, the beads have started to change to a pink color a little bit. The instructions with the line dryer is that these purple beads will change to pink after after they've been used up so seems clear to me that there's still plenty of life left in this dryer that I have set up altogether I spent two hundred and eighty dollars on the compressor and these two parts propane hose connects everything to our compressed air foot pedal this is a fairly new design for me I've been doing this style fume pattern for most of my 20 year career, but it's, it's more intricate and I'm now using Illuminati in different colors through here. But So I'm gonna do the finishing steps to put the beaker bottom on this piece here. Uh, so essentially I'm gonna establish this tight base shoulder and then I'm gonna kick the compressed air on, which gives me the control I need to get the flat wall of the beaker. So the compressed air has become more and more essential to me to get that established flat wall through the middle of the beaker. So right now I'm using the sharp intense driving plane of the GTT. In a second I'm going to kick the compressed air on and that's going to even everything out and give me that perfect wall. Compressed air on. Compressed air off. Sharp intense heat. I use the compressed air one more time just to get the bottom side of the beaker even. So compressed air on. You can almost see the glass just even out in temperature after one or two rotations. Now we have just a little bit of a contour here. And if I used any kind of intense heat at all, it's either gonna sink in or bubble out when I blow it. So I'm gonna heat it only with the compressed air. A lighter flame all together. Anything more than that soft, controlled heat from the compressed air would cause distortion or just a much tougher time to get this straight, flat, even wall. So that's exactly what the compressed air does for me for making this beaker shape.